Welcome to another episode of Uplifting Interviews with Total Strangers. I've got two blonde strangers, <laughs> Melissa and Christina. Christina, and they're both uh, beautiful, blonde, and a uh, total stranger to me. Sure. And, and not to each other, though. Not to each other. How, get, how are you guys connected? Uh, we met. <laughs> we met at Christian camp. Christian camp in oh. seventh grade. Oh, really? Yeah. Seventh grade, just a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, it seems like that, right? Yeah. I mean, that's how fast time goes by. That's why it's really important to enjoy every single day. Yeah, they say when you make it past seven years of friendship, like you're kind of stuck. You're stuck for life. So oh. We've yeah. exceeded that. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, she's stuck. And where are you all from? California or New, New Jersey. Jersey? You guys are from New Jersey. Well, then you can't be fantastic. Then I heard. That's not nice. Because, no, I heard New Yorkers <laughs> and people from New York, we can't be fantastic. No. Uh, that, fucking fantastic. That's, yeah. fantastic is what we are. No. that's the only way to be in life. That's why I moved away from you. See, when you, whenever you guys laugh like that, all your stress is being released. And you're going to live longer. So not only are you going to be happier and live longer, now that you've been in Dr. Fantastic's cab, <laughs> life's going to be beautiful. There you go. Oh, it should be anyway, right? Yeah. So um, you hear... You're not visiting, you, you live here. I'm visiting. You're visiting. Mm -hmm. I live here. And you live here. Yes. And um, you're a secretary, but you're not really a secretary. <laughs> <laughs> and you are an analyst. I'm an analyst. My son's an analyst. That's cool. It's very good. It's very anal, isn't it? Um, yeah. Anal list? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but you're figuring out uh, solutions, right? Numbers, yeah. Numbers? Number solutions. You're crunching numbers? Yep, that's my job. Do you know anything about the number 432? Uh, 432? It's supposed to be the, the universal number. No. It, it, it's, um, look it up. I, I saw a documentary on it. I said from CRS where I'd be able to re repeat it. You know what CRS is, right? So I suffer well, it's from... a shame that I'm the 419th subscriber instead of the 432nd subscriber. I tell you. That's going to be a special person. you got to watch the documentary on 432. You won't okay. believe it. The whole universe, the, all the, the, the pyramids, the squares, and music, it all comes down to those three numbers. Huh. It's, it's the most amazing thing I ever saw. I couldn't believe what I was watching. And it can't just be happenstance or coincidence that that number is that, that important in the universe. But anyway, look it up. One of those things. But anyway, so um, this is all about uplifting um, stories. Uh, what do you guys have? If you had to tell the world something uplifting, what would it be? You go ahead and you start. Oh, boy. I don't know. Travel the world. Yeah, go travel. Travel. Yeah, go travel. Travel is... Yeah, get cultured. Yes. Yeah, well, that's... I think most young people don't get life unless they've traveled. No. Or hit 50, yeah. which is a shame. <laughs> Or experience death in the family yeah. or friends. Yeah, yeah. Th that's my theory. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I think traveling is really important. It gives you a whole different perspective on. Well. Or just get out of your comfort zone, like. That's good advice. That's you know, good advice. I moved from New Jersey to California, and I'm so happy I did. I miss home. Don't get me wrong. But. Okay. Okay. So, um, but you visit? You went back? You were just back there visiting? Is that what I you worked guys in, to Philly. Oh, you worked to Philly. Yeah. She comes back often, though. Yeah, yeah, I do. I come back a lot. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, is that your home base, um, Philly? Here. Here? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's good advice. You know, this whole, I have 370 interviews. I believe you guys are 371. And it's all about just sharing life and experiences and, and thinking forward thoughts, you know, and, and karmic good. I think the Be Fantastic movement has some legs. People are understanding the value of, um, of paying it forward, yeah. you know, because when you make people smile, imagine if you can make 10 people smile each day. You're not, you're not going to say it by saying you're good, right? Or all right or fine, right? Yeah. You're going to say it by being fantastic. And you're never going to be forgotten of the 18 people in the movement. They've never forgotten the person that they met was that was fantastic. That, to me, is amazing. Is. Think about that. Awesome. If you start telling everyone you're fantastic every time you talk to anybody, they're never going to forget you. And I think uh, we want to be remembered in life, don't we? Okay. Well, you're certainly not going to forget Dr. Fantastic. Definitely not. Okay, so now this comes to the point of the show where I could solve every problem you have. Sure. Any problems out there? Any um, any advice you'd like from a guy who's traveled around the world, worked in 79 different fields, and uh, I'm a pilot, by the way. You are? Yep. Nice. I learned in 72, way before you were born. 
And uh, so I have a couple of solutions. Oh, yeah, I've got a lot of problems. <laughs> a lot of problems. Well, one is, let me ask you, do you have anxiety? Yes. Okay, anxiety, I think I tackled that in one of my more popular interviews is on anxiety. The thing about anxiety, it's a fear of the unknown or a fear of consequence. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at that fear and say, how important is it going to be a week, a month, a year, 10 years, or your, in your life? And I guarantee you, it's not going to be meaningless in a very short well, time meaningless so for it to affect your life see my mother died from worrying she died in her 30s I was orphaned at nine and having an anxiety and worrying about shit is gonna kill you it can kill you I'm attesting to it <laughs> and so like give me an example what do you think is so important that could cause you stress I'm missing a flight losing your job all those things are good missing a flight you meet someone new you lose your job, great. You get unemployment if they fired you. If not, you get a new job. There's lots of jobs out there for good-looking blondes <laughs> and lots of different trades. I know a stripper. I know a stripper. She says she makes a thousand dollars a night. That sounds awesome. <laughs> and she doesn't have sex. She just strips. You know. I was just telling her I was gonna go to sugar daddy. <laughs> Getting to sugar daddies. Now that I, I have advice, if you want to get a sugar I daddy, I don't want a sugar daddy. You hang out at the Ritz. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Your solutions to everything, ladies. Right. And uh, are you going to Manhattan Beach? Hermosa. Hermosa, beautiful beach city. Well, you guys are, you guys are good looking. You're young. <laughs> you're being chauffeured down the street. <laughs> That's great. You know, I mean, come on. Don't tell me your lives aren't fantastic. So watch what watch what happens when you start telling everyone you're fantastic. Your life will change. You'll be happier, live longer, and you'll make a difference in the world. Ladies, how are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. I gotta love it. <laughs> Thanks for participating in another uplifting interview with total strangers. We're not strangers anymore. No, thank you, Doctor Fantastic. <laughs> it's my pleasure.